Hi everyone, this lesson is going to be all about acids and bases and their basic definitions in chemistry. Um, so in Regents Chemistry, you're going to see references, of course, to acids and bases, but oftentimes you're going to see this guy's name out in front of the term acid or base, and that's Arrhenius. Um, Arrhenius refers to a Swedish chemist physicist who proposed certain definitions for what an acid is and does and what a base is and does. So today we're going to look at those definitions that he proposed. And if you're looking for Arrhenius acids, the first place you can look is reference table K. And I've got a copy of that right here. And what you may notice about all these acids listed on table K, um, they're all fairly simple in name, all end in acid, and then give you some sort of description about what types of elements are involved in them. But what I want to draw your attention to is the fact that every single acid listed on here is listed as aqueous. And also every single acid, yes, with the exception of CO2, but when it gets dissolved in water, it um, becomes carbonic acid, H2CO3. All of them involve hydrogen right up front, or in this case, at the very end, if you write it in this way. And that's what Arrhenius definition um, kind of centers around, is the fact that an Arrhenius acid is a compound that, I'm just going to put in quotes, gives off the hydrogen ion, H+, plus in water. That in water part is going to make reference the, to the fact that all acids are going to be acidic when they're in their aqueous form. We can uh, kind of justify that looking at this equation right here. HCl, hydrochloric acid, is covalently bonded before it's put into water. There is no H plus ion present when H is bonded to Cl. Only when that HCl breaks apart into that H plus that Arrhenius was interested in, do its acidic properties really shine through. And I left some space after this H plus ion because oftentimes you won't see H plus, you're going to see another ion, H3O plus or hydronium in its case. I'm getting that name hydronium from table E that tells you the names of many polyatomic ions like H3O plus. And that arises just simply from the reaction of H plus with water to form H3O plus. So you may see a reference to H plus ion, you may see a reference to H3O plus, or just the, its more formal name, hydronium. And if you've ever uh, had Sour Patch Kids or um, like a really tangy kind of soda, you know exactly what H plus tastes like. Um, when in H plus interacts with our taste buds, we get this key like sour or kind of stinging feeling. Um, that said, not all acids are going to appear as sour or stinging. It really depends on the extent of the H plus that they produce. But these are two very uh, characteristic physical properties of acids is that we perceive them to be very sour or stinging or burning. On the other side of the spectrum, we also have the kind of opposite of acids or bases. And Arrhenius has a definition for them as well. And we can find a few examples of his bases on the table right below the acids, table L. And you're gonna notice of these bases, three of them contain the hydroxide ion. Again, hydroxide is a name coming right off of table E. We know it as OH minus. So an Arrhenius base, instead of giving off H plus like an acid, is going to be a compound, and these ones are always going to be ionic that gives off OH minus or hydroxide in water. Again, that in water makes reference to the fact that these are all aqueous solutions and the OH minus, that's our hydroxide ion. So again, you can see examples of potassium hydroxide dissociating in water and producing the potassium ion and your hydroxide ion that accounts for its basic properties. Again, same deal with barium hydroxide, but this time, since there are two hydroxide ions bound to this barium, when it dissociates, we're going to get twice as much hydroxide in solution. Um, and if you've ever tasted just plain baking soda before, you're going to get the um, sense of what a base feels like to our taste buds. And most of the time, when our mouths interact with a base, we feel like this bitter, like 
flat kind of awful taste. Um, and it's not very pleasant. So either way, whether you've got an acid or a base, you can get to be very, very corrosive and very uh, not good for ingestion. But again, these are our big general terms. What I really want you to walk away from here is the fact that by Arrhenius's definition, anything that gives off H plus in water is an acid, and anything that gives off OH minus in water is a base. <laughs>